Do you want to know? <laughs> there's a there's a bar that we go to fairly often near us called Guildhall, which is an esports bar, and so a lot of the you might have seen it even advertised on the Overwatch League, um, because the Overwatch League has. I think it has, like, a certain events that go on there or something like that. And the fan meet and greets frequently happen there for, like, the LA Valiant and stuff like that. And um, the first time that we went to Guildhall was at the end of that Contenders North America. We spent seven weeks in Colorado for Contenders when we were playing that eyebrow game with Brent Snort and Ashes and stuff like that. And then we went to LA and... The first thing that ever happened in the Blizzard Arena was the Contenders Finals, where we casted it and stuff like that. At the end of Contenders, we went to Guildhall, and a bunch of us, including a bunch of the Giganti people who just won the EU portion of it, went into Guildhall and we were all drinking. And we were playing drinking games, and Internet Hulk was there, actually. That was the last time that I drank with Internet Hulk before he passed away. And um, we were playing... A bunch of different drinking games. It was a really, really fun night. Uh, it was a great memory. Um, and we... The, but the, the reason that the Guildhall staff will forever be treasured in our hearts, for a variety of reasons, but especially for this first one as well, was that we decided that would be the correct place to claim all of the eyebrows that had been racked up over the course of contenders. So every time we had eyebrowed someone and they hadn't done it, we had written it down and been like, okay, that's that's one for you. So I think Bren owed maybe four, ZP owned, owed two, I owed a couple as well, Pucket owed a couple. And so we were going to sl take slices out of people's eyebrows because there wasn't, that was in October and there wasn't anything until uh, January, when the Overwatch League began, and that's enough time for your eyebrows to grow back. So, we decided we would try and take people's eyebrows. So, we, whipped the, we were drinking with some of the makeup people, the esports makeup people, and they had wax strips and scissors with them at the bar. And so we, it's horrifically unhygienic, but we started getting wax strips and, uh, and, and, and scissors out, and clippers, and little razors and stuff, and we were slicing people's body hair up at this bar. And the first thing that the Guildhall staff that we now still really hang out with a lot um, remember of that night is Bren walking up to the bar and saying, Hey, do any of you know how to use wax strips? And they were like, oh shit, some weird shit is happening back there. Because they could hear the raucous behavior, but they didn't exactly know what it was. And now Bren is asking if people know how to use wax strips. <laughs> they walk around the back of the bar, and ZP's got two wax strips attached to his legs. Because he, I think he was, on, on, he was only supposed to have one small one on, on his eyebrow. But he decided that he wanted them on his legs instead, so he said that they had to be big ones. And then as he was about to rip one of them off, I think I stuck another one on the other leg, just because I thought it was funny. So now he's got two wax strips just stuck to either side of his thighs that he has to rip off. And and Bren had a couple of slits out of his eyebrow and was really trying to make them clean. And I think somebody else had a bunch of other stuff out. Anyway, there was hairy wax strips everywhere, hair all over the place. And a lot of people, very drunk and very hungover, flopping all over the floor with uh, with various pieces of body hair removed. I think there are also videos of that night somewhere on Twitter if you want to find them. But that was that was uh, our first time in, in Guildhall, which is why it's one of our favorite bars as well. Because we, we, uh, we know and love the people in there. And they've seen the worst of us. And they've seen the best of... No, I don't think they have seen the best of us. I think they've only seen the worst of us. What did the staff do? They, they acted like, um, like parents looking after idiotic children. Like a bunch of monkeys got into the back room. And so they just tried to look after us as best they could. That was also the bar where Crumbs got really drunk at the end of a Super Bowl party. And thought the mirror on the wall, it was like a six foot long mirror by four foot. 
He thought the mirror was a portal to another world, so he tried to get in it and started lifting it off the wall. <laughs> I mean, if I haven't heard a more crumbs story than that, it's so good. <laughs>